This is the tweet. It was actually sent to me. Shout out to the to the to the brother that sent it to me. This is what I said. This is what he put. This is from Aubrey Huff. Okay, it's a former baseball player. All right, conservative. Okay, let's get into this uh, tweet. It says I never understood as a man why you would date or marry a single mother if you're single with no kids of your own. Seems to me it doesn't feel. He doesn't feel he has options or doesn't value himself as a man. I'd feel like I was a backup plan helping raise another man's kids. And clearly he says men with no kids. Now, again, if you're a guy with kids and you know, you want to get with a woman with kids, I don't see any issues with that because you both have children. But what we have in society is a baby daddy, uh, you have a baby daddy culture to where the women are constantly looking for another man to raise the children. She already has make sure y'all like this. You have too many women of today with children looking for another man to raise their children. And that's where we are. And that's why they're, they they were upset with Aubrey. I'm surprised he isn't trending already. He might be trending. I want y'all to understand it is not up to a man with no kids to raise the children of another man. Just, you know, cause you got guys out there that, that, that took care of themselves. They did not go in and, and mess up and have children at a young age. They valued work and themselves first. If he's not of my line, he gets none of my time. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. So, you telling me a guy that did everything right is supposed to just hop in there and be the daddy? Some of these guys trying to smash the single mothers that they choose to date them. Yeah, and that's what happens. That's what I'm saying. That does happen. That does happen. All right. But the thing is this. A lot of times, you have women, they want these guys to to come in and, and be the stepdaddy. Meanwhile, they are keeping the real father at a distance. They don't want him around their kids. They want the new man to step in and take that role on. Now, are there guys purposely out here dating single mothers? Yes, that we know that that goes on. That definitely goes on. I'm not here to say that it doesn't go on. We got you got guys out here who purposely go out and date single mothers. But usually them dudes got kids. Dude, those guys already got kids. So it's not like they don't have them. They already got them for the most part. Uh, but the fact that people are upset with Aubrey because of what he said just shows me that you have people who feel like, you know what? Even though I'm pushing the real father away. I want a strange, not to say a strange, I want somebody new to come into the picture and play father. Meanwhile, you're putting, you're putting the father at a distance, the real father at a distance. That's what goes on out here. And that's what I'm talking about. Uh, if a guy who doesn't have any children, if he wants to be the stepdaddy, he wants to marry into a family that's already ready made. That is his choice. That is his choice. But I believe that Aubrey was coming from a, a sense of noticing what's going on and noticing that you have women that have all these children and they, they're not really looking for a man with kids. They want a man without kids. How many of y'all heard women that, that, that have a bunch of kids talk about how they don't want a man with kids? Does that even make sense? All right. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. All right, you see some of the comments. I can explain that I can explain. Okay, I can explain why you feel this way. You're an absolute a hole with a horrifically overinflated idea of your own value and importance. Hope that helps. And he says, Thank you. I'm starting to think you post controversial opinions simply for attention. It's like you want people to engage with you so you can be combative. He says, F you, you're on to me. F, you're on to me. Okay. See, daughter of a single mom, 
My stepdad didn't feel like a backup plan. He was committed to my mom first and stepped up when my biological father failed. I learned a lot from him, including what sort of behavior to expect from men and myself. Not your best take, friend. He says, hey, I'm happy for you. And obviously many people don't agree with my opinion, but that's what it is. My opinion, carry on, friend. Okay, she replied, when marriage, uh, when marriage is a second, uh, when the marriage is second, the kids will suffer. When God isn't first, the marriage will suffer. Not even going to religious realm, okay? But you just disagree with the guy. Uh, listen, when you look at this comment section, you got conservatives, you have all these these liberals. Uh, they're very upset. Look at look at all these blue check marks. Ain't got nothing better to do but to go disagree with a guy who just on his page. First off, why are you following this guy? Or you know, why are you caring so much about his opinion? It's crazy. And, and by the way, and by the way, what's her name? Dana, I think her name was. Because I believe she's a conservative, right? Quote, unquote. Uh, the women of 30, 40 years ago. No, no, the women of 50, 40, 50 years ago aren't the same women of today. The women of today have changed so much. And a lot of times... When women had children, it was usually by one man. Uh, the women of today have multiple children by multiple men. They don't just have one father. Those children have multiple fathers. So no, it ain't. It, it's a lot different. These women are purposely trying to reel guys in by having their kids. Not all, but in, in certain instances, they are. They're having those kids because they want to have those kids by those guys. Okay? They have access to their wombs. They have access to their box. Okay? Nobody... Uh, nobody wants to look at that and say, hey, she has the responsibility of knowing and, and not one uh, knowing, but have the, the responsibility of making sure that she is not out here having all these children by all these different men. One should be enough. But oh, no, she wants to be with this guy desperately. So, you know what she does? She goes and she tries to get pregnant by him, which shouldn't be that hard because. You know, a lot of these women are very fertile, they're very fertile. And we know some of you guys hate condoms. You really do. <laughs> some of y'all really hate them or say you're allergic to them. I've even heard women say they're allergic to them. So, yeah, that's not going to be well. Uh, let's see. You should read Romans 8. It's in some book that you claim to believe in. Sometime maybe God didn't have opinions or value himself as God. All right. It says almost 3000 likes on this cruel tweet. How sad. Read some of the blue check marks. This is not pro-life and I don't think Jesus would agree. You see how people use religion to go at you. So Jesus would agree with you. Uh, raising another man's children while his while while the children's uh, father is being pushed away, while he is being sapped of his money and resources in court. So you're telling me that Jesus would approve of that? What kind of weak ass man can't handle a woman having children from a previous relationship? Fragile masculinity is rampant. With you snowflakes. Tighten up buttercup. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Y'all see. You see how people. Are very. Very hurt. Are very triggered by this. <laughs> All these women claim. They know what masculinity is. They have more masculinity. Than their boyfriends or husbands. So I don't want to hear anything about masculinity from these liberal minded women who clearly have mental issues. So my stepfather is more of a man than you ever be. Once again, 
Times have changed. Oh, we got Katie Nolan. <laughs> oh, we got the resident ESPN feminist. <laughs> it's funny because you thought this tweet said something about other people when you pushed send. Imagine having his take when he's a divorced father of two kids. Okay, and even as a divorced father of two kids, he still wouldn't want to be in a relationship with a single mother. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Be aware of your childhood. Being aware of your childhood, I just feel bad for you. I really hope you get healing because this isn't it. You got more things to work through. Try out a therapist. Just go to one session and see what it does for you. Here we go with these people thinking that they know somebody, uh, you know, their mental take. And then you go and you look at what they talk about and what they're into. And they're the ones that need therapy. The ones who always talk about people needing therapy, they're they the main ones that need therapy. Even though I've discussed people needing to get help, I say get help. I never go with the whole, you need to see a therapist. Sometimes getting help is by seeking out people who've dealt with those issues, consulting with them, consulting with family, finding, you know, people who actually care about you, uh, surrounding yourself with people that, that, that have your best interests at heart. And there are a lot of people that aren't doing that. Uh, let's see. It could be because you're an a-hole and I'm just spitballing here. I mean, these people are clearly upset. Uh, if y'all want to go and check out the tweet, I'll put the Twitter thread in the comment section. Y'all can go over there and check it out, man. Y'all go and check it out, man. Hold on a second, y'all. Shout out to everybody that's here. Make sure y'all like the stream. What I want to know is why are people so, so emotional? Because he says what? Y'all know why they're upset? Because they know that there's a lot of women out here who have kids by other men and they're single and they struggle to get a man you know as far as dating wise but i think that has more to do with their what they want in a man than anything else and what they choose uh because if a woman is not finding what she's used to choosing then she is not going to be in we live in a society a where you are not allowed to have an opinion appreciate that kyle no i guess he is and i guess you know rb huff is not allowed to have an opinion he should. I mean, they can't cancel him. He doesn't play baseball anymore, so they can't cancel him. So all they can do is be hurt, be upset. You know, I'm not going to get upset because he doesn't want to. He would not want to date a single mother. Why? Why would I be? Why would I be upset about that? But people get triggered because they know that they have friends that are single moms, and those women are out here. You know, they're not happy. There's a lot of unhappy people out here, man. And most of these are unhappy women. But again, we're not allowed to have opinions as men. A woman can get on Twitter and say, you know what? I won't date a man with men with kids. And she will get a lot of praise. You have a lot of women praising her, telling her she has standards. She don't want a man with kids. It's crazy. These are crazy times we're in. I just hope that people see that men are getting red pill. This stream is about men getting red pilled around the world, right? Well, you have somebody as a former baseball player speaking on some of the things that you know we've spoken about on this very platform because a lot of men are understanding this and they will continue to do so